Rebecca from Chemnitz, and let's leave no dye behind. I have here a leftover dye bath um, that had, I think we started with four cups of water and three or four tablespoons of vinegar, dyed some yarn, and I'm gonna add 100 grams of Knit Picks Swish DK. This yarn I'm adding is completely saturated because I didn't want to increase the water volume in our pan a little bit. But again, there was already vinegar in here. Uh, this yarn is 100% Superwash Merino, and it dies like a dream. So for this episode of Leave No Die Behind, I have some leftover Dharma and Jacquard Acid dyes in pink and yellow. And when I was doing the January Chemnitz dye along, I really sort of wanted to randomly put these colors together, but that didn't quite work for the inspiration photo. So that's what I'm gonna do now with the leftover dyes. I am going to give this a minute to heat up a bit, and then we're gonna start dyeing low immersion in the pan. All of the equipment and utensils I'm using today are dedicated dye equipment, and I love using these reusable zip ties uh, to help pick up and flip the yarn as I am dyeing. If you would like to learn more about any of the equipment or yarn, you can find my affiliate links in the video description. All right, let's do this. I don't have a ton of liquid left, but sort of putting on, and I'll do a little bit less yellow on that one side, a lot more on the other. So the yellow, it was some Dharma Brilliant Yellow, and the pink is Jacquard Pink. Um, and yeah, I really like these two colors and sort of the way that they play on each other. I think I'm going for like heavier pink on one side, heavier yellow on the other, sort of random. Wow, I really like these squeeze bottles from Dharma. Um, the color is coming out nice and slowly. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Oh, I'm kind of enjoying this a lot. Uh, in each of the bottles, I have approximately the same concentration of dye. I had started with, it's about, uh, I started with, you know, about a 1% stock solution that I diluted by six fold. So I had about one quarter cup of, for both of these dyes, um, the concentration is about a one percent, a quarter cup of a one percent stock solution, and then five quarter cups of water is our approximate dilution. Going a little more random, then light on the pink on the other side. The yellow seems to be a lot brighter than the pink but yeah I kind of I kind of like this I think it might be a little blown out on camera and so when I move it it's gonna look a lot less sort of sketched on but even with all that color I still have plenty of these left I think for the other side so I'm really really excited and I'm actually there's definitely some orange in here now Definitely, but the yellow and pink are still, at least right now, really showing through, so yay! I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna reduce the heat a bit, but I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and we'll come back and flip it over and add some more color. All right, it's been five minutes and let's see, let's see a shade of yellow left in the pan, but otherwise, it's pretty good. I mean, clearly, our wrong side needs some work. Um, the pan is definitely hot, but by touching it lightly, it's not like painful or anything. I don't necessarily recommend doing this though. <laughs> All right, it's flipped. Um, trying to spread out some of these white areas as much as I can. I will probably do, if I have dye left, I'll do like a third flipperoo. Um, light on the 
yellow, heavy on the yellow, in the middle region, whoops. And then, oh. So these are squeeze bottles that I got from Dharma and I really like them. Um, the You squeeze them, you get like a really nice even pressure, not too much comes out and I just feel like I have a really good amount of control over here. So I am really, really happy with that. Whoop, and <laughs> as I say that, it just like kind of goes off the rails a little bit, but all right, I just have a tiny bit of pink and a tiny bit of yellow left. It's actually kind of like dripping right now. The one area I'm a little concerned about it's like over here where the tag was, but tag. But all right, I'm gonna let this go for five minutes and then come check. I do have more of these colors, but not mixed at these concentrations if I feel like I need to add a little more. But I'm sort of excited by just the random funness of it. All right, let's check the balance of our yarn, which is actually really good. Whenever I'm talking about the balance, what I'm looking for is, are there any like glaring white patches or anything that need addressing? And honestly, this is pretty good. I think I wanna add, there's like a few spots where I want that last, some of that last little bit of color to go. And just sort of, that's the last of our pink. And then the yellow, have a little more around here just to, oh, a few more dashes on our pink side. There we go, we tapped our colors. And now, just sort of need to leave this for, again, another five minutes, and then we'll come back. Okay, those five minutes are up, and it looks like we have very, very nicely, oh no! <laughs> I moved it and I found a big white patch. Oh well. Some white's okay. I intended to leave some white in here. This is why we move things around. Ah, oh, this wouldn't be so tragic if I hadn't already moved everything away. You know what? I'm gonna go grab a tiny bit of pink. All right, this is the same pink, just a little more concentrated. Just trying to break up that biggish white area. There. Sneak a little more pink onto it. <laughs> Might be a little bit brighter. Can help that a bit, but okay, that, that helped. Um, <laughs> All right, since I added a little more color, I am going to go ahead and turn off the stove now, but I am going to leave the yarn on here so that and to cool so that way it'll get a little more heat while we wait. But once we're cool, I'll come back and we'll wash the yarn. Right now, I am seeing some orange in here. However, there is a lot of yellow and a lot of pink in this look. And I'm very excited that we layered it and it just doesn't feel like a completely orange look. Not that I have any trouble with orange, I've just been really wanting to play with the yellow and pink color. And so I'm now going to add a little bit of dish soap, which if we're going to see any colors bleed, which we haven't yet, sometimes this is when we might see it. And that color is in the yarn. So I'm now going to rinse out all the soap, hang this up to dry, and I'll come back 
and share the finished dry yarn. Eek, you guys, this yarn is awesome. I think that the pink could be a little more intense. I wish that it was a little more concentrated, but I'm thrilled that we have this yarn that definitely, definitely reads as yellow and pink. Yes, there are definitely some orange bits in here. However, I think that this works as a great sort of bonus to the January Chemnitz Dialogue with the pink and yellow lemons. Zooming in, you can see that the little bit of orange feel is almost more of just a golden yellow, but it definitely looks like there are pink flecks on this yellow background. I know I have a lot of favorite yarn dyeing techniques, but I think that randomly applying color in a low immersion setting is definitely way, way up there. And these Dharma bottles gave us these great tiny patches of color. I mean, this looks speckled here. <laughs> like, it's really, really cool. And we achieved this look using a squeeze bottle. And that's just awesome, in my opinion. I am thrilled that we created this colorway that feels like summer and pools and beach towels. And it feels like daylight and happiness especially because it's so cold outside right now. I really have had so much fun playing with yellow and I really want to try playing with it more. I wonder about playing with yellow and blue, maybe without it feeling too green. Ooh, I really, really just want to play with color. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and if you enjoy this leave no dye behind attitude. Let's use up these colors and create something beautiful. And my willingness to just sort of go for it and try new things, make sure that you're subscribed to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. I release at least two new yarn dyeing videos every week. Sometimes we have spinning vlogs and more. And you really don't wanna miss any of it. So make sure you also tap that bell icon so you get notified every time that I post. If you love the channel and you want some more behind the scenes sneak peeks and early access to new content, check out the Chemnitz Patreon. Chemnitz patrons get early access to one new yarn dyeing video every month and you get to vote in polls that help me select the direction of some of my new content. And it's just so much fun and really does help support everything that we are doing here. Finally, if you want to bring home a little piece of Chemnitz, check out the Chemnitz Creations Etsy store. And it's full of hand dyed yarn that I've featured in these videos. And we also now have some tote bags with the Chemnitz logo. So if you don't even want yarn, but you want to have a fun Chemnitz bag to store your own materials for your own dyeing adventures, head on over to the shop and check it out. Thank you so much for watching.